Yeah, single GT55. We're gonna do uh, piping and uh, yeah. So we're gonna give you guys a little overview as far as what we are doing to Jake LaVenture's truck. Um, so he has a 05 uh, crew cab short bed truck, um, once a street truck. Uh, he's just, something he's been wanting to put together. So it is a pretty much all factory truck as it is or when it came. So we are doing a wet deck plate and uh, DNJ enforcer in it, um, extra G fuel system, a uh, single GT55 with some nitrous and whatnot. Um, and then we are also doing a factory bed and a factory frame four lane. So, and we're actually, instead of doing a hood stack, uh, we're gonna run the exhaust all the way out the back, just like a factory exhaust. So it's kind of sleeper style. Uh, we're not doing a cage in it because it is legit solely a street truck. So that is what the plan is for this. Um, so the axle side of it right now is all cleaned up. Um, so pretty much just from here, and then I can build off of it, uh, like the axles cleaned up on the table. Uh, so once I get that done, we're actually doing a little bit different uh, set up kind of style four link on it it'll be our kit uh, but we're actually going to move the shocks to the outside of the frame rail um, and doing that pretty much it gives me a good bit more room to come up come up and over top uh, the axle with an exhaust because you're on a five inch exhaust obviously with the gt55 and 2000 horsepower it's kind of something you need so we're gonna do that and uh custom fuel cells so he'll have the whole factory bed floor won't be you know gutted bed like we've done in the past um so i have a fuel cell underneath of it uh, I think one air dog, we're gonna go with one of their bigger new pumps that they make. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's a really clean truck, uh, and I know Jake's looking forward to getting it done and on the road. So one of the many projects coming in. And then I think we have another yeah, uh, Byron Klein tube chassis truck uh, will be here. We're actually, he had a six liter in it, and he had had it on the schedule to do just a bunch of Ford work. And now he bought an Enforcer and a 48. So we are gonna wire the whole truck put the whole drive line in it, uh, make all the mounts, turbos, all that kind of stuff. So that's another one to look out. Um, but yeah, chugging along. That's a big I love So we have uh, Jake LaVenture's truck in here for its final stages of pretty much getting ready for the dyno. Give it to him. As you know, it's a deck plate 6.7 motor and it has a single GT55 on it. So from here, pretty much we are gonna finish up all the intercooler piping and uh, he wants a full five inch exhaust. So as you know, we did a factory frame four link on the truck and had to move a good bit of stuff around like the any roll bar um, and just a couple other bars just so we could actually get a five inch exhaust all the way out the back that'll be a fun little long project um it's you know 
making a full five inch exhaust, V bands, all that fun stuff uh, takes a little bit of time. So, and he has factory AC, so to throw that into the equation as well. And then with the stage four intake, it makes it a little bit of a trick to get all the intercooler pipes done, uh, especially in four inch with a truck like this. Some do three and a half inch, four inch. I've done both of them and yeah, we're gonna do four inch on this one. Once we get that done, we should be ready for the dyno here before long. As you can see, we got the whole downpipe fitted. Uh, everything's basically finished welded up to this point. Kind of, obviously it's not like putting a normal exhaust in where you just slip fit everything. It's all V-band connection. I had switched a couple things around as far as where everything had mounted, like the shocks are actually on the outside of the frame rails um, on the back of you know our four link brackets. And then the anti-roll bar, I actually have mounted low. Um, so instead of being in the center of the frame, it's below it just so you can fit you know, obviously a five inch exhaust up and over. And instead of using a normal uh, like rod style uh, exhaust hanger, you know, with like a, you know, big rubber uh, bushing, we actually use these from Stainless Works. They make a really nice, it's a uh, bolt together, or it's a bolt on exhaust hanger. So it makes it a lot more solid because obviously with it being close, cause we do run, we're gonna end up being pretty close to the frame rail and the anti roll bar in the back. And you know, I mean, it's a good chunk of weight. Uh, it's a little bit probably better stainless quality material than what is in a normal, you know, five inch exhaust kit. It's kind of one of those things just, you know, it's gonna have a couple different V-band sections in it uh, just so you can actually take it out this long straight chunk you can get out, um, but then it's gonna have another uh, three pieces involved with it as well. So a lot of time fitting five inches, not like fitting three inch tube or two and a half, or uh, it's just, it's a lot bigger, takes a lot longer to weld, all that stuff. So it's kind of why it takes a good bit of time, but we should hopefully have this done today, um, the charge pipes done today, and uh, yeah, roll on from there. Like I'd said, it has uh, you know a lot of the factory components still, so it still has a factory fender or inner fender liner. With that, it kind of makes a bunch of different things kind of change, and it has factory AC. We didn't really change anything on that aspect of it, but five inch downpipe, four inch charge pipes, all that fun stuff. So here, which the fender isn't in, but you can see, so the charge pipe kind of has to sneak back through. It comes outside, then goes back in. Um, and then the exhaust misses all the AC stuff. So we didn't have to, you know, it still has factory AC lines, factory harness and all that fun stuff. Everyone's gonna be different because you always have different, you know, turbo, either different turbo setups on them, different years, the AC lines go to diff different places. So we're trying to get this finished up. Uh, we have a couple other small things on it left to finish. Finish weld a couple things and send it on sweat. Hey, we got Jake LaVentures 2004 on the dyno. This is a project we've been working on all summer. Uh, big build and we're excited to see what the results are today. Uh, this has pretty much had engine braking done, drove it up and down the road, made sure there's no leaks and it's back on the dyno. So we're going to start with a uh, reasonable tune around a thousand horsepower and work our way up obviously making sure that we've got all our issues figured out. There's no leaks or anything like that as we make power and then we're going to turn it up and see what this 94 millimeter uh, GT55 is capable of fuel only. So the target is 1400 horsepower. If we can make more than that it'll be a bonus. Um, but ideally this setup will be a solid fuel only setup and if he wants to add a couple kits of nitrous he'll be easily be able to make in the 16 to 1800 horsepower range down the road if he doesn't think 1400 horsepower is enough. So stay tuned we're going to put this thing through its paces.
Okay, we got Jake LaVenture's truck wrapped up on the dyno. It is ready to hit the road and get turned back over to him. Uh, we did 1,438 horsepower, uh, fuel only. This is a early 04 ECM. We can get full fuel to 5,000 RPM, then we're getting a cutout around 5,000. I've not figured out a way to get around that. Um, but for what he's trying to do, we can we can make good power, you know, from 3,500 RPM to 4,500 RPM, have a good window to run with. Um, it'll be a good uh, setup for him to go out and get his feet wet with, and then we can add three stages of nitrous, and that thing should make some really big numbers uh, when he's ready to go really fast. Uh, so it's been fun doing this build. It's got a you know a good sleeper look, uh, but under the hood is serious business.